Hello everyone, Giuseppe Basile here, also known as the Fibs Talker. This is the third part of uh, today's, this week's Fibs Talker weekly uh, newsletter. And this is valid for tomorrow, October 27, 2015, uh, for the coming week. You can find me on www.fibstalkertrading.com and also on Twitter at Fibs Talker. So in this third part, I'm going to cover the Australian dollar versus the US dollar, the New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar, the US, uh, the US dollar versus Canadian dollar, the Eurocad, and the US dollar versus the Swiss franc. Now, before I get into that, let me remind you that um, what I have here, uh, I have an exclusive offer for you for the FIPSO Cameras Coaching Program, the uh, September October 2015 session. I'm recruiting for this fourth session, this successful program. And if you are interested, uh, you know, I will provide you with uh, the formal you need in order to identify, to identify the area of participation of uh, algorithms on high volume uh, modern market, as well as I'll give you the procedural uh, way uh, to uh, time the entry in areas uh, of potential participation uh, without money at risk. So that's um, that's the new idea here. I, I call this idea stalking the market using Fibonacci in a non-conventional way. In fact, I only use four levels of Fibonacci. And if you want to learn more about, uh, you know, uh, how I use Fibonacci, you can watch this May 19, 2014 webinar, free webinar on fstreet.com, traditional new uses of Fibonacci in modern markets, and you'll get quite a good idea of how I uh, go with uh, using the, uh, uh, the levels of Fibonacci to model algorithms. I use six uh, price models to identify these areas, and uh, if you join the uh, coaching program, not only I'll give you the mechanics of trading, but most importantly, I will give you and will share the elements to build a correct mental model for trading success. So I really give you the straight facts and what really matters with now 100 plus hours of highly detailed step-by-step -step lessons and there will be, of course, live webinars where we'll review the markets together and you can ask me all the questions you want. So. Let's get into the Australian dollar versus US dollar here. So when we look at the weekly, we always want to start from the larger time frames here. And as you can see here, we in the last few weeks, we had a larger development. What was that? Actually, that was the 071 being pierced. And that means that this whole area of uh, participation long here, it's gone. So there is the possibility for this market now to move all the way to previous low 160, 78, and potentially, you know, compare to US dollar down to 048. Is that impossible? Well, you know, there were, these were the prices that uh, the Australian dollar was priced against the, uh, the US dollar in the, in, uh, in the past. So it's possible for this price to get there. Again, so when we uh, when we want to model this price, we need to understand uh, that this market is moving in extensions here, and as you can see, uh, the second target has not been reached just yet. And to me, uh, that's something that starts only a matter of time, probably before we get there. And once we get there, it's possible to continue modeling this market uh, using. Uh, uh, lows to lows here uh, because it's extended and as you can see the low, the low here uh, has already um, sorry this, uh, this high here the 072.24 uh, has already two weeks ago come into um, into play here so there is a possibility for this market to just continue lower well past that previous second target that into the first 067.57 and 065.50. This is not going to be an overnight move. You might get a few weeks to get there, but that's what uh, this market is, um, is, this price is telling us. And uh, on the daily, of course, we had that uh, low to low that uh, has 
traded recently and we saw a similar move to all the pairs that are related to the Australian dollar. There was a test fairies trade, test fairies trade, and then a continuation lower. Moving to the New Zealand dollar versus US dollar, uh, we have seen price here uh, trading uh, an extension as well from these lows to lows and this level was tested and then a second attempt was uh, a second uh, attempt here was actually was it was about to take take place first test here and an entry a short second test did not happen and and then there was the drop uh, on the um, on the week of the 24th of August and uh, and then there was the market picked up there uh, this market continued lower but notice how beautifully the stop the market stopped right at that second uh, target there so these targets are powerful are watched by algorithms and are very very important so now if we look at this market we know that also this market uh, similarly to what happened to um, the, uh, and this is a previous analysis of the sequence of measure moves as the market moves uh, lower because this market it's a, it's a very technical, uh, very technical market actually. As you can see, the next measure move from highs to from lows to highs is pierced as well. And this market now, we are looking for the next level of potential support, which is already in play here. And that's the high to low. So this is the next area of potential support. And that's the reason why we are seeing this market moving laterally in the last four weeks here. It's because there is, um, it's because there is uh, a, um, a potential participation long in this market. So this is quite an interesting market to, uh, to watch. And it has been, uh, it has been very technical as well. As you can see on the larger time frame. The weekly has brought again price into the first and second target and um, above below that second target and notice again uh, the importance of these levels. I mean the um, second target here with as soon as that level has been touched there was a reaction in this market and then a continuation lower. So if this market gets some traction on the upside the next level of potential short is going to be the uh, lows to lows here into uh, 066, 067 here. If the market gets there, it lines up with the previous high, but the real reason why, uh, uh, you know, short to get into again that price would be that this price, this pair would be because of the next uh, level and area of participation short. So you can see here how these levels line up with uh, with levels and lines that appeal visually but the reality is that the real reason why this market could do this is because here this is an area of potential participation short from algorithms and uh, continuing here the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar I mentioned in the past that uh, this market was within an area of potential participation short and that's no wonder is the area from the highs here to lows which participated already in the past in 2008, 2009, early 2009 here in the market and uh, we saw this reaction here when the price got into this level the first time we saw the market moving lower however the 61.8% level was never pierced. Now let me show you again how, um, uh, how these, uh, these levels are traced well before the fact when we see the high we um, we actually trace from uh, from lows to high here and as new highs are printed we adjust that um, we adjust that uh, the measure move there to actually to actually match the new the new high and that gives as uh, the next level of potential participation long well in advance. So you have to know how to trace these levels because that gives you a tremendous edge. As you can see here, one, two, three, four, and five, and six weeks before, five and a half weeks before we get that test there, and then a continuation into the first target, as you can see here, and we knew this first target 
you know, uh, well in advance. We knew this first target when we traced from this level to this level. So we knew the area of potential participation, which showed up being an actual area of participation. And we knew the first target and we got there. And it took how many weeks? It took 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 weeks. So we knew all this information with months and months and months in advance. Now we also know that in this market, the uh, the uh, in this market we have a second target as well. That second target would be above the 134.81 that would actually eliminate this area of potential resistance, and there is no reason to believe that the market cannot get there. In fact, the market is actually moving above that first target there and into that uh, second target that is 138 basically. Okay, so. That's the power of uh, of the of trading with uh, with the algorithms here. So on the daily here, we're just seeing uh, a continuation higher from levels that uh, were identified um, in this case uh, after the fact. So this market is actually using at the moment on the daily is using the anchor that was identified uh, in um, in the last sessions here. And um, the exact uh, one depends on uh, how the market is moving. So at the moment, this market is moving anyway in extension. So uh, that's what we have to keep in mind. And there was participation at this level and then the market was picked up. So on the daily time frame here, we can see this market continuing higher and the next potential um, level of target before we get into into the 138 could be the 134.87 so that's what we are looking um, for this market at the moment and next is uh, the euro versus canadian dollar this is an interesting market as well pretty technical and uh, we saw uh, this market actually going uh, going back to a uh, previous highs here and as we can see this market is actually moving uh, laterally here and uh, um, it's interesting that uh, this market is doing extremely well uh, in relation to the Canadian uh, the, the, the euro is doing very well in relation to the Canadian uh, dollar and as you can see here this more this market uh, is still moving laterally uh, and uh, it's in a lateral move at the moment because the bears were the, the bulls were not capable of holding this price below 135 and the bears were not capable of holding this price above 146 so still moving laterally and if this market moves lower there is a good probability that is going to respect the next level 138.60. But we will see what happens uh, in this market later on. On the daily, there was this um, this uh, huge uh, move higher here, and there was um, uh, money moving up from the uh, Canadian dollar into the European the euro uh, as part of the um, as part of the edging. That was going on during the market scare in uh, in August. So we're going to see whether this is going to reverse. And uh, on the daily time frame, as you can see, uh, there are shorts in play. Uh, this level has been tested twice, and for two uh, times uh, it has uh, shown participation. So it's not impossible for this price to get back to 144 at the moment so in case you you are in short that would be the first target and finally us dollar versus the swiss uh, franc here and this market uh, after the uh, the breakdown we saw at the beginning of the year here uh, has been moving laterally we saw um we have seen basically the shorts not capable of holding this price and uh, longs after that uh, not capable of holding this price so that's the reason why it is long um, this long uh, basically um, move uh, lateral move has developed in the in the basically throughout all the year um, and that's the real reason why you see these moves it's not because 
there are these uh, lines here but because neither bull nor bears on the largest uh, time frame on the larger time frame are willing to pick up this price now that said as you can see here since uh, basically on the daily we can see that on the daily since the very day of the low uh, in August 24th here we start seeing this market moving higher so this market might be exiting the, um, the lateral move here and as we can see uh, two weeks ago at the end of two weeks ago this market also traded the old way halfway back so it is very clear to me that uh, this market has a target uh, above at the moment and that target if you are long since these levels here that target is going to be for you above uh, present highs at 0.9957. That's what we're gonna where we're gonna see this price if there's a continuation higher here. And uh, on the uh, smaller time frame, we are going to discover whether this market is going to retrace or not. As you can see here, very very technical market. So the next uh, level of target is going to be 0.98 before we continue higher. Okay, this is it for this third part, and I want to remind you again that um, I'll be teaching the Fibsoc Emeritus Coaching Program, which is a program, it's not a course, so it's completely different, and uh, it goes well beyond the traditional approach. I'm not going to talk uh, you about indicators. I will um, teach you exactly uh, how I look at the market and how I model algorithms and uh, the the the, the, um, the measured moves that I showed you that I showed you in my research. So the world trading approach is totally different, and um, and actually I have students coming back to me and thanking me and saying, you know, you you really changed the way I look at the market. I don't make those uh, mistakes anymore. I don't look at indicators. And um, so uh, to me, the question is very simple. If you want to keep playing the guessing game, then continue with taking analysis. If you want to learn something new that works, then um, I'll give you also a number of uh, a discount and a number of uh, bonuses here with a very, very high value, uh, value including uh, two hours, uh, two 101 hours of uh, review with me. And we can discuss where you are at and uh, uh, the challenges you are having before and after uh, and after um, taking the coaching program so this is it for um, for this week thanks a lot for watching i hope this review is interesting and can help you in tackling the market this week this is valid for the week starting on october 27 2015. have a great weekend and have a great week as well i'll, I'll see you next week bye bye now